Hello everyone, today I am going to discuss the fifth problem of Atcoder Beginner Contest 263 which is Sugoroku. So we are given n square from 1 to n and uh, each of the first n minus 1 square will contain a die each of uh, which have ai number of ai plus 1 number of faces. So if we roll a die at the square i we can get uh, from 0 to up to ai numbers. So uh, let's uh, draw it. Uh, let's say this is a um, the, let's take the first example. There are three squares. Mm, three squares. The first square has a die which has two faces. Uh, so a i is equals to one. So first, uh, second square also has a die with two faces. Um, so we can get up to get zero comma one from the first die. Zero comma one. And if we roll the second die, we can also get zero comma one. Okay. So I have solved the problem with some kind of DP approach. So I will explain my DP approach to you. Uh, let's say here we are writing so DPI means uh, minimum num uh, like expected number of steps so at the end we have to find the uh, the expected number of steps like expect expected number of roll of a dice to reach the n square so in this uh, example we have to reach uh, we have to uh, get the answer what is the expected number of rolls of a dice to uh, get up to the third square so, uh, so DPI expression, uh, DPI represents expected number of steps to reach n square. So, how we can get it? So, if uh, for this example, let's say we are finding DP of two. Okay. Uh, so, DP of two means expected number of uh, dice rolls if we get from the second square to the third square. Okay. So, what is the probability? So, if we get one uh, by the dice roll in the second square, square, we will get to three. So, if we roll a dice. Uh, at square i and we get something like x so we will move to the square i plus x so if we roll the dice at the second square and we get 1 then we will move to the 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 so uh, it will be uh, number of dice, dice rolls from the uh, from the current position to get the third square will be half into 1 you know that um, expected value expected value let me write it as ev ev equals to summation of i into uh, i is the number of uh, i into pi so here i represent the number of dice rolls and pi represents the probability to get i number of dice rolls okay so ev is equal to sum of i into pi where the sum of pi is equals to 1 also so here uh, if we roll the dice and we get 1 what is the probability of getting 1 if we roll the dice at square 2 it will be half and uh, after getting one, what is the expected number? Sorry, what is the number of steps, uh, number of rows to reach uh, square three? It will be one. And another one will be half, and we get zero. So it will be half into one plus dp of two. Now, uh, if we uh, simplify this equation, we will get uh, dp two into uh, half. Sorry, dp2 into half will be equals to half into half is equal to 1. So dp2 will be equals to 2. I think you got get it. So now let's calculate dp1. So let's take another color. So dp1 will be what? dp1 will be if we roll the dice and we get uh, 1 from the uh, dice from like dice 1, like dice at the uh, square 1 is dice 1. So if we get 1, so let's say we are getting one here so it will be half the probability of getting one will be half and one plus the number of rolls in the dice from uh, square two so it will be half into one plus dp2 plus it will be kind of similar half into one plus dp1 now if we simplify it uh, if we simplify it, it will we will get uh, half into dp2 let's it right here it will be half into dp1 is equals to half into 1 plus dp2 dp2 is uh, what dp2 is uh, 2 so it will be 3 by 2 plus half here so it will be 2 equal to 2 so half into dp1 equals to 1 so dp1 will be equal to 4 so at the end uh, dp1 will be our desired answer dp1 means the number of dice expected number of dice rolls to get uh, from the first square to the third square that is our required answer so for this example our answer is 4 so let's uh, simplify this problem from uh, for the 
uh, more values of i. Uh, so let's uh, simplify it for i equals to n. So here I have written the formula. So uh, dpi will be what? Um, dpi will be 1 by i plus 1. So it will be 1 by i plus 1 because uh, the probability of getting 0 from rolling the i the die will be 1 by i plus 1. So it will be 1 by i plus 1 plus dp of i plus 1 if we are getting the 0 and it will be else sum of dpj plus 1 uh, and what will be the range of j? The range of j will be j equals to i to j equals to i plus ai. So for the case of uh, here, here uh, i plus uh, 1 will be 2 and i plus ai will be also 2. So sum of 2 to 2 it will be case, uh, in this case and uh, sum of dpj plus 1 and for every case the probability will be 1 by i plus 1 for getting 0 for getting 1 for getting anything up to ai the probability will be 1 by i plus 1 and if we simplify it we will get ai by i plus 1 into dpi is equals to 1 by i plus 1 into sum of dpj plus 1 and uh, 1 will be forwarded from this to this okay and at the end dpi will be ai plus 1 will get cancelled out from this and this so 1 dpi will be 1 by ai into sum of dpj plus 1 where j range from i plus 1 to i plus ai plus 1 okay this is, this is very simple i think you understood it so for calculating this thing uh, we can do order of n uh, approach and for every uh, i will do order of n so our overall time complexity will be order of n square so somehow we have to reduce the time complexity of this operation so for that we can use any kind of range data structure like range sum data structure it will be either a segmentary or uh, fenwick tree so i have used fenwick tree here so let uh, show you my code now so uh, at the uh, first we are initializing dp of n minus 1 by 2 and we are updating the last position by 1 uh, so and uh, updating the la uh, like n minus 1 position by 3 so what i am doing here so let's go to this so what i am doing here i am uh, storing uh, in the fenwick tree so in the fenwick tree at the i position i am storing dp i plus one so what what is the value of dp of n so the value of dp of n will be zero so we are storing one at the nth position and what is the value of dp of n minus one so i have uh, like every for every case so let's uh, show you the constraints now so 1 less than equals to ai less than equals to n minus i so at the n minus 1 position it will be 1 less than equals to a of n minus 1 less than equals to 1 so the value of a of n minus 1 will always be equals to 1 okay uh, so that's the case here so if we pre-calculate the value of dp n minus 1 from this formula we'll get what 2 so uh, i am pre just pre-calculating it uh, you can just ignore this step also you can just uh, st uh, start from i equals to n minus 2 so at the average at every step what i am doing is 1 plus query of i plus 2 to i plus a i plus 1 uh, as i am using zero based indexing so what i uh, have to do i plus 1 uh, i plus 1 plus 1 to i plus a i plus 1 that's uh, similar uh, like if we if you use uh, like one based indexing then it will be i plus 1 to i plus a uh, that's what i have explained in this case this i plus 1 to i plus a so after getting the sum uh, we are updating the value of the i plus 1 position by dp i plus 1 plus 1 and at the end uh, we are printing the value of dp of 1 as here i am using one best indexing so i hope you have understood the video and uh, if you have still any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section and if you uh, are facing some issues with the problem or any other problems of this contest you can also write in the comment section i will try to help you Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you.